Hello there, this is Mary DeMuth, and this is Pray Every Day, where I pray through the Bible verse by verse. I want to speak to those of you today who are despairing of life. Um, You have thought about suicide, you have thought about uh, that this earth would be better without you, and um, I just go back, this sounds really funny, but I just go back to that movie, It's a Wonderful Life, and how every person has an intrinsic piece of value, and they add so much to this world, and And so if you're in that space, um, you are loved, you are needed on this earth. And um, I pray that God would lift those um, thoughts from you today. And I pray that he would lift this cloud that's been hanging over you. Um, That's not to say that you shouldn't pursue medicine and, and doctors and psychologists and all of that. But I also pray for you today that you would experience freedom in knowing that there's purpose for you on this earth. So I hope that helps you. We are in Matthew 13, verses 14 through 17 in the uh, New International Version of the Bible, and this is what it says. In them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah. You will, nev- you will ever be hearing, but never understanding. You will be ever seeing, but never perceiving. For this people's heart has become calloused. They hardly hear with their ears, and they have closed their eyes. Otherwise, they might see with their eyes, hear with their ears, understand with their hearts, and turn, and I would heal them. But blessed are your eyes because they see, and your ears because they hear. For truly, I tell you, many prophets and righteous people longed to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. Mind if I pray for you. Lord, this again, we we see another jump back from the book of Matthew back to Isaiah. And and this is one of the things, one of the books that you love to quote. And so, Lord, uh, maybe today the takeaway is that we need to read the book of Isaiah a few times to understand you because you kept quoting it. Um, Lord, we do ask that you would open the eyes of our heart, that you would open our eyes and our ears to hear you and to see you. Um, and then you turned, as, as we, uh, after you talked about Isaiah, you turned and you turned to your disciples and said, blessed are your eyes because they see and your ears because they hear. And that many prophets had wanted to see this day and didn't get to see it, but that they did, which was so exciting for them. But the cool thing is that I think is the fact that these words were written down and your story, Jesus, was written down. Your miracles were written down. What you did on the cross was written down. And so now we have the privilege of experiencing them too. We get to experience your words. We get to see it with our eye, mind's eye as we read about you. We get to hear it as we hear the word of God. And as I say it out loud, people, people listening on Pray Every Day get to hear your word. And so we are blessed Our eyes are blessed, our ears are blessed because we see and hear who you are. Lord, would you help us to live in the reality of your truth, of who you are? And when we get in those dry times of um, a lacking uh, vision for uh, following you, or maybe we're drudge, you know, just feeling like life is a drudgery, or we've had too much grief in the past year and we feel like we can't move forward, um, in those places, Lord, would you meet us there? We want to find you in the broken places. We want to find you to be real. And there are times when life just beats us up over and over and over again. And it is hard to find the light because we've been so bruised and our vision has become darkened and our ears are closed up. So Lord, again, open our eyes, open our ears, and help us to go back to the Gospels and watch you in action. Because you in action, Jesus, is a beautiful thing. Help us to place ourselves in the narrative. I know we're not in the narrative, but it is really helpful for me to place my eyes as if I am watching the story unfold for the very first time. And in doing that, just apprenticing under you, Jesus, and seeing what it must have been like to walk around the dusty streets of Palestine with you and Galilee and Jerusalem. And um, Lord, what a privilege that is to just be with you. Lord, we just want to be with you today. We don't want to talk about you. We want to talk with you. We don't want to do work for you. We want to do work with you. Teach us the power of that word with today, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 
Thanks so much for listening to Pray Every Day. You probably know this, but there is a free app of the Pray Every Day app on iTunes and Google Play. Absolutely free. And you also get a free devotional every single day. So if you've wanted to buy one of my devotionals over the years, which um, this podcast was actually brought to you by Jesus Every Day, the first one I wrote. Um, But if you'd like a hint of what that would be like, you can get this free app without having to pay any money. So anyway, hope you're having a great day and you are blessed and be blessed. And uh, God will bless you so that you can be a blessing to others.